What's up, guys? How's it going? This is Enrique. This is Easy Things to Draw, and I want to say hi to you guys. How's it going? This is um, the, uh, just to kind of summarize this segment. It's basically where anybody watching can send me uh, any drawing, and I'll critique it. I'll give my honest uh, point of view on it, and I'll also give you the on-the-spot review. I've only kind of just opened this file. I really haven't looked at it beforehand. I haven't thought out what I was going to say. It's very kind of like um, just my impression uh, of what could improve. And I don't know everything, guys. Uh, you know, I'm still working on my own artist journey, but it's just another person's opinion. And if you want to send something in, please send something in to omegaman20 at gmail.com. Omegaman, oops. What is going on here? Bum, bum, bum. That was weird. Anyways, omegaman20 at gmail.com. Send something in. I want to do this segment every month. Uh, well, every Sunday, I think I'm going to do. Uh, every Sunday, even though right now is not Sunday. But uh, I just want to put something out there. But I, I believe I'm going to start this every Sunday, I think. Pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Uh, I also made a playlist for Critique Corner. So check out the playlist and so you can see past ones. Try not to put the exact same characters. And if you do do the same characters, which, you know, kind of has to happen, right, eventually. Um, try not to do the exact same pose, you know, like from the exact same drawing. That you based it on. So remember, Omega Man 20, send something over. It's cool. Send a couple of things over. Send multiple things over. Love that. Um, okay. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, so let's get started. This is from entry Dylan. I wrote it down. Dylan Tomasino. Dylan Tomasino. I'm sorry if I screwed up your name. So um, let's see. Right off the bat, I'll tell you what I like about it. It's pretty well proportioned in general. In general, it is. You know, he's got the... He's, torso the legs that kind of thing he's just standing there he, it looks what it's like it's supposed to be it's kind of chest puffed out so uh one thing that stands off uh right off the bat one thing that i notice and uh maybe you guys notice it too i'm not sure is his uh his shoulder right here is a little bit too much to the left i feel if i also draw a center line down the page here one second let me use the white if i also draw a center line I know he's not dead on center, right? He could be turning a little bit to the left or the right. But from what I see, let me see. I see that his chest is, you know, oopsie. Let's say his chest goes all the way down here, right? It's about a center line, kind of curved, which is good. You know, it's turning one way. Uh, so his pectoralis would be roughly about here. Got a little bit of lag, guys. Sorry about that. And I think his chest should come in a little bit. See how it's popping out a little bit too much on that side in comparison to this side? It just seems a little... Let me look at it again. See how this is a little too circular? I know it's connecting with shapes, you know, especially when you're wearing the black velvet kind of thing, or I'm not sure what he's wearing. But it looks a little too much like a boobage going on, you know what I mean? I think what you're trying to do is, because that, that light source is coming from that way, you might... Let me try this out. You might, because I, I know what it is. It's like on the top peck, right? There's light hitting. It just looks a little bit, uh, it's still popping out a little bit too much. I would even kind of, watch out there. Sorry for the delay. I would pull that in a little bit. Just a little bit, I'll pull it in. It's weird, it's just such a subtle thing, right? I mean, drawing in general would be like just really, really subtle things. Um, Let's take a look at it to compare it. Sorry for the lag. Uh, there's just a lag on my computer today. See how it makes it look a little, a little bit better. See how the the curve looks a little too booby. Let me chop that shape over here. Another thing, I think the same thing's happening with his shoulder. His he must. It looks like he works his right shoulder out way more than the left. Do you see that? Let me draw another line here. Let me leave that in there, I guess. And then, um, if I also draw a shoulder, oh, let me see. I mean, he might have one shoulder back. That's possible as well. But I'm not interpreting it that way. I feel like he has both about, like, in that Dragon Ball Z type pose, you know what I mean, where he's about ready to charge up. So if his shoulder, see how it's underneath there? If his shoulder's right there, his other shoulder should be about as big. So that'd be something to move over. Um, let's see what else. I may watch the anatomy here on his hand. Let me zoom in on his hand real quick. Boom, 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 boom. 
zoom way in there. Hopefully you can see that. All right. So I would, and this is what I do when I draw. I will look at the hand as if it's a total picture on its own. You know, I'll just pretend like I'm drawing a picture of a hand. You know, so it, you know you you kind of pay more attention to the just the anatomy and how it's connecting. Uh, use your own hand too when you're uh, when you're referencing stuff. If you have to take a picture, take a picture with your phone uh, of your hand in that pose and just kind of like draw it out like that. I it's weird because the hand is probably the only thing where. I don't have an ego about not using reference. And by the way, I always recommend using reference. Uh, the profession professionals use reference. There's no shame in using reference at all. But I would say that um, it's one of the few things where I don't shy away from would be the hand because your hand is always on you. You know what I mean? You're always going to be drawing with it. Uh, if you're drawing, you're going to have a hand. So you're always going to have a reference source right with you, you know? So why not use it? Let me see this. One second. He's making a fist, I believe. The fist kind of, the thumb would curl over some of the knuckles over here. Just keep that in mind. Let me draw that in white so that comes out. So the construction of the hand. You know, I'm looking at my own hand right now, actually. Just trying to look at it. All right. Sorry for the lag time. Never gets his lag time. Uh, so construction of the hand is a little bit more like that. A little bit, little bit more like that from that view, you know. Sometimes people, you can draw a little bit of spikiness in the knuckles, you know, if they're sticking out. But it's kind of up to you. But it would be a little bit more like that. I start with boxes as well. But remember that thumb that's going to go over, over the top. That's such a... That's such a big thing. I might even make the knuckles longer, actually, right there. But I'll leave it like that for now. And try to make the wrist a little bit smaller. It just looked kind of huge. But originally, let me look back at that. Yeah, it was good. It just wasn't wrapping in there. Remember that uh, there are large muscles that kind of shrink down. And the way I want to think, um, you can think of the forearm would be, I think of it as kind of a round form that goes into a squared form. Think of the wrist in that position right there. It would kind of go like that in a way. So, like, let's say you have this box, right? That's the way the wrist would be. I mean, not totally a box, but just an organic box. You know, still squishy, but... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. But it would kind of have this squared form, and it would slowly start rounding out into this more round form. <coughs> with a more meaty part of the forearm, you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. But try to think of it more like that. Right there looks a little too a little too meaty right there. Just uh yeah. Watch out, let me see. Put that back in there. Yeah, see how little tapers on a little bit different. All right. Um Everything else looks pretty good. I guess the other it's the other hand's the same thing. It's a pretty symmetrical pose. You know, this, these uh, outfits are really cool, by the way, the, when they have that kind of velvety outfit in comics. Kind of watch out, you know, where, remember that things connect? Kind of connect them with your mind, you know, this six-pack kind of connects across to this side. Never lose that connectivity in your mind, even if you don't show it, because it will kind of come out in the drawing a little bit. It will show that maybe, you know, it's not connecting quite right. Cloth, let me go over cloth really quick. Uh, when cloth folds over itself, it kind of, uh, hmm, I don't know how to say this. Especially the cloth when it bunches up. And, and here's the thing, cloth bunches up differently-ish almost every time. But there, there are a lot of, you know, commonalities. So when these folds pile up like that, think of the folds as cylinders, kind of. Or like, you know, like shapely tubes. I like to think of them as tubes. And uh, they kind of bunch up onto each other, and some of them bunch into each other as well. But uh, in doing that, you'll kind of start pulling out. Let me, let me get this line out of the way. Hold on. 
in doing that, you're going to kind of like start realizing that they when they bunch, you'll start the more you think of them like a lot of a lot of tubes falling onto each other, kind of collapsing onto each other from gravity. The more you'll start pulling out these little lines here, see? You'll start pulling out certain design lines. You're like, okay, if that was doing that, that would lay on top of that. Sorry I couldn't explain that very, uh, much better, but uh, I'll read a book and I'll tell you guys more about that in a tutorial. But, uh, you know, you'll just start instinctively pulling out lines. But the, my best advice, honestly, personally, my personal advice would be to think of these as small, like maybe pieces of rope. You know what I mean? That kind of conform to one large shape. And then, like I said, let me pull some lines out of there. Yeah. Whoops. Draw from real fabric or as fabric as well. That would help a lot. Let's see the mask over here. Let me move on to over here too. Mask looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, uh, I guess it's, you got you have a dilemma, right? Like. Uh, <laughs> The back would tend to be really dark, but if you have it dark, you'll lose the contrast, right, in the figure. So uh, I would maybe put like a little gray back there. That might look bad though, right? Uh, let me try that. I got like a gray. Well, I'm just gonna just throw it in there. I'm not gonna care about edges right now. Let's see. Sure, I'm just gonna. Just to get an impression of it real quick. See, that might look okay. Yeah. I think maybe putting a gray will uh, could kind of make these shiny spots right here look even shinier. Could. You know, the contrast tends to do that. Usually when you're looking for a focal point, that's a place of most contrast, meaning the biggest difference between white, dark, and light. And I'm seeing the biggest difference between dark and light all in these shapes right here. And uh, maybe in the eyes. Maybe the eyes would need to be a little tiny bit, tiny bit more. Bigger, tiny bit more. Anyways, that's about it. That's most of the feedback I have for here. This is a great job. I, I like the, the pose and everything like that. Send in another one if you do have time as well. I'd love to see more of your drawings. Um... What else? That's about it, actually. All right, guys. That was my quick feedback. Um, if you if you guys have any feedback on this drawing, post it below. I'd love to see it in the comments. There's a lot of really good artists that I've noticed that are in the comments. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, remember, one more thing. If you want to be on the show, you want your artwork on the show, uh, go to drop anything, a drawing that you've done to omegaman20 at gmail.com i'm gonna start doing these every sunday so expect that every sunday because i need you guys to remind me thank you very much also i'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers really soon uh please spread some videos around pick a video you like off the page spread it around i want to you know hit 10,000 guys it'll be fun and uh, i'll run like a big ass contest you know sorry i said a bad word ass but i'll run a contest at 10,000 uh all right thanks a lot guys i'll see you later